What's going on everybody? It's Jay Wilson and we are standing in front of a brand new aquarium. But it's not just one, there's two in this video and we'll do a quick overview going over all of the stuff that we're gonna be adding to include the livestock that was picked on last Wednesday's live. So stay tuned every Wednesday night, seven central, eight Eastern for live videos the way they used to be. But let's go over these aquariums. So here is the other aquarium. Well, actually it's the first aquarium because you've only seen the other aquarium in the intro. But this aquarium is a Neptunian cube. And Neptunian cube is not necessarily new to the scene, but they've got a lot of amazing stuff happening. But let me show you. I've got all these Ninja Turtle things happening. Huh. Ah. So this is gonna be my office, right? Pretty schnazz, eh? Community tank. Community Lake Tanganyikan tank. So we're gonna do some really cool scape. I had some ideas today that I'll discuss on my live on Wednesday, but ultimately Tanganyikan community. But what I love about this tank is a few things. Not only is it ultra clear, these pop off, yes. Wow. But I love the inside. This is kind of the, the key for me. This is pretty schnassy. Look at that. Nice little electrical compartment. We got a vent right underneath. Here, let me show you. I mean, look at this. From the nice slide out to the vents, to the hole, to this open space for all the tubing. If you were to put a sump, there's the self-leveling mat. It is just well built. I love it. The aquarium is awesome. Neptunian cube here. Look at that. Boom. I'll take these off, but overall, just love, love. Check this out. Oh, soft clothes, Neptunian cube. So, so community tank. I've got to figure out where I'm going to get these fish, but we're going to do something a little different than normal. I'm going to go two lights that overhang here. I'm thinking AI lights, right? We're going to do no plants, of course, because they'll just terrorize them. And then we're going to do some nice rocks. We're going to do a tan-ish sand and some big river stones. We're going to try to emulate... Lake Tanganyika, not a true biotope, but we're going to potentially maybe even add some wood. Not sure on that yet, but overall this tank is going to be stellar. No glass lid, so we need to make sure that the water is moving nicely, and that's why we're gonna be using CJ products, of course, of course. And then these bad boys are doing very well. Still waiting on the zebra plecos until after the COVID thing hits the ground, but this is it. This is... The office. This is where I'll do the live streams. This is where I will do some of the videos, of course, for this aquarium and, of course, these aquariums. But then the old school room has almost the same setup, and we'll go talk about that now. So, do you remember that aquarium that we took up to Iowa to our friend that was a Air Force, wasn't a veteran at the time, but he beat cancer? We got the same exact tank. Painted it a little different color. And we're gonna do a Fahaka U puffer, and that's it. That's all we're gonna do. We're gonna scape it really well. We're gonna use the same tan sand, and I'll get to that theme in a second because that's what we have on hand. So I'm trying to use everything that I have in this room, and you, you're probably wondering, what do you mean back in this room? And it was set up the way it was before. Um, if you stay till the end of this video, I'll get to that, but I wanna get to what's in here. This is a 60 by 20 by 20 ish aquarium. I think it's like 19 and three quarters. We're going to do a couple canisters on there. And then as far as lighting goes, we're probably going to use either a current USA or a Fluval uh, 3.0 that we had on the tank that's right here. So let me grab the camera and show you how disgusting a lot of this stuff is and kind of give you an idea of what has been happening. So look at this. Huh? It's like a nice little sage. It's like Easter. Um, but yeah, same exact tank. The Ninja Turtle cases are gone. Um, yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know where they went. But I do still have the turtle, so I'll be working on getting some cases. This, you probably were like, uh, what happened? So I'm going to get to that because there's some weird stuff that transpired with this tank. I'm gonna turn this into a vivarium. I'm, I'm pretty hell-bent on doing that. So uh, we've got the sump gone. This is 
you can see the water was filling up because it was draining from the overflow. But got all the rocks. I just got to re-suck the rest of the water out. And then that's done. But timing, right? All about time. Two vivariums. Same vivariums that you've seen if you follow me on Instagram. Uh, there are no live animals in these right now. I'm just growing them. Um, this one's been over a year. This one's only a few months. And so I want them to flourish. I want to be able to repopulate. Matter of fact, we got some new growth in there. And then we've got the bad mamba jamba, right? We've got a lot of work we have to do in this aquarium because it really hasn't been touched in, oh, I couldn't even tell you how long. So we're going to get rid of those fake plants down at the bottom. We've got all these live plants that are being nibbled on. And then we're going to plant those all right here these were growing in there. And then we're going to use some of this for that, helping this kind of tie it all in because the white is nice, but I think a little bit of tan would make it look amazing, right? And then we'll take this same sand in a bucket and we'll move it to the Tanganyikan style tank way over on the other side of the house. So we've got a brand new vivarium happening. We've got this pretty, pretty epic Tanganyika tank with Trophius, Dardanai, uh, Shell Dweller, and okay, you wanna know where those fish went? Some went with, um, some went with my bettas. Oh, look at this guy. Look at him, you see him? Look at him coming out to play the game. He's playing the game. But I had to do it. I didn't wanna do it. I'm against it, but I had no place for him right now. So I did put the geos in here. Hi Jack, hi Jack. So I did put the geos in here and they're doing, they're doing well. There's two left. I have this one and this one. And that was all that was in there and some Tetras. So the Tetras went in with the Beta and the geos went in here. Not something that I'm for, but it's also not long-term. This is quick. This is, they're just gonna be in here for a week or two till I can get them to a local fish store, if not a little bit longer, only due to the fact of social distancing. That All right, here it is. The moment I was actually dreading, but need to do because it'll probably help me more than it's gonna clear up anything for you. Um, I don't dive deep into my personal life and I'm not gonna dive very deep into it here. However, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see pieces of my life there. Um, I like to keep my life a little bit private in terms of all those other things, but I love to share positivity. I love to show you failures in the aquarium hobby. And ultimately I love showing you how I am within this industry. And I'm very much that person outside of this industry. But over the last year, a lot of things have transpired. And it's not that I think that you need to know, it's that you've been here since the beginning. And while maybe some of you have questions, if I didn't answer them, it wouldn't matter, honestly. But I feel that the support that you have provided me through this tumultuous time, I wanna give it to you. I wanna give you a little, a little piece of what has happened. So over the last year, I have traveled more, I have took on a new career, and I've lived in an apartment, and I lived in a hotel. And in order for me to move from traveling to the hotel to living in an apartment, um, because I wasn't allowed in my home, I, I ultimately had to do what it is I'm really good at. And that's taking a horrible situation, finding a solution, and then applying that solution so that I can continue moving forward and make the outcome much better. So against my own heart, I had to sell Northfin USA. Now, not all of it, but I had to sell a lot of it. And a lot of it meant it gave me the financial means to still be able to maintain a roof over my son's head, provide food on the table for him and get whatever it is that he needed to include everything. And then I still needed to be able to maintain something for myself because I couldn't live in a hotel. That's not very smart. And I didn't really have anybody here that I can go 50-50 with on in an apartment. So I got one for myself as close as I could to this home so that I can see, could see my son whenever it is I was allowed to see my son. He wasn't allowed in my apartment. I wasn't allowed here. It was very difficult. Um, but moving forward, that's, that's changed. 
The reason why I'm telling you this is because you've probably watched the video and you've seen that I'm back in the house and I've got these tanks. And yes, that is the truth. I was awarded the home. I'm here. I am making the best out of a crap situation. But that doesn't mean that any, that, that doesn't mean that it's bad, right? That doesn't mean that it's all bad. And I'll give you examples of that here in a moment because I sold North Finn USA to an amazing person, Flip Aquatics, right? I'm still there. I'm still very much the face of that business, but things are structured a lot differently. So I'm not asking you to continue to support that business because I need it. I'm saying I appreciate you supporting that business all the way up to this point so that I had the opportunity to get myself out of a could have been a bad situation. I thank you for that. And if you stay to the end of this video, there'll be a discount code to show my gratitude because I, I can't give everyone individually something. It's almost impossible. Um, but I, I'm truly thankful for that. I was walking through some of the darkest, the darkest valleys that I have ever walked in. And there was a lot of you that were there. Um, and it, it helped to propel me forward that I had all these ideas and all these things that I wanted to accomplish. And I hadn't got to accomplish them. One of them was being a better father to my son than, than I was, than I currently am. I'm not a perfect person. Matter of fact, there's nobody that's perfect. And, and if I was to say something religious right now, the only person that was perfect was Jesus. And I wasn't living anything like him. But what I do know about the whole situation, what I do know about life and what I do know about the religion that I follow or, or maybe even just, just the way you are as a person, that hypocrites don't thrive in this world. And I am far from a hypocrite. I've made some dumbass mistakes in my life, but I'm not gonna make those again. But the major thing is, is forgiveness. Why would somebody follow something or do something and they make a mistake and then you just don't like them ever again? I'm not saying that that's the case with me and you. I'm just asking for forgiveness. I haven't really posted anything. I haven't been here. I've been through therapists. I have been provided emotional support animal. I have done everything under my power that I can do without pumping my body full of medication because it was tough. And I thank my, my, my jobs, the, my new career, my old career. I thank my family, my friends for being there for me in the darkest valley. But there was a lot of light and I kept searching. I kept searching for the light and I kept getting closer and closer and closer. And I, and I had to act differently. I had to be differently because ultimately I was protecting myself from the trolls, the harassment. Now I'm not talking about your average trolls. I'm talking about texts, calls, emails, 65, 66, maybe 66 calls in a row. I've called the authorities. I've tried, I've tried to get people to help me stop it for no reason. Who were they to do that to me? They were no one. Ultimately, they were no one. And so the reason why I'm telling you this is because I'm back in the home. I'm having the time of my life. And I get my aquariums. I have a brand new career that is simply amazing. I have stronger friendships than I've ever had. And I've learned from the mistakes that I've made. And I am not going to make those again. I've got many more goals I need to crush. And I've got many more limits I need to push. So I thank you for staying here. I thank you for getting me to 30,000 subscribers, 30,000 supporters. It's because of you indirectly, I'm able to do some of the things I'm able to do, like have an apartment because I was able to use my business at the time to leverage financial gains so that I could put a roof over my head. I don't know what the future holds, but man, is it going to be a wild ride. And I hope that you decide to hang out with me in that ride. So stay tuned to many, many amazing journeys. And remember, we will all make mistakes in life, some grander than others. Some will be viewed in ways and, well, some maybe be misunderstood. 
Because at the end of the day, no matter what situation happens, there's my side, there's your side, and then there's a mixture of both of those together that equal the truth. So remember that as you move forward. Try not to be as hypocritical. Try to forgive faster than you don't. Learn from your mistakes. And remember, no valley is too dark because there will always be somebody there for you. I'll be there for you. And I mean that. And if you've met me in person, you know that to be the truth. So thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, tweeting, retweeting, doing everything you do. I don't even touch Twitter. I don't even know why I ever say that. But Instagram, I'm there. Facebook, totally there. YouTube, I'm here. Wednesdays, 7 Central, 8 Eastern, live, every Wednesday that I could be on camera, I will be here to have fun. Thank you so much for watching. You know what's next. Holla! Well, for those of you who stayed, jwilson15 at northfinusa.com for the first time order will give you that amazing 15% off. And for everyone else that has continued to support and still supports, it's thanks 10, get you 10% off. Check out northfinusa.com and flipaquatics.com for pretty much everything you need for your aquariums.